stories like this open your eyes to what's going on. And I think a vast majority of people that see this movie are gonna go, I can't believe that happened. It's a real story, man. The story is grounded and it was profound to me as, as to what people had to face. One of the values of looking back at the past, it enables you to look at the present with a different perspective. This movie is more than just something we want people to go and see and then forget about. It's very obvious that there is a lot of work to be done. I'm just disappointed that things have not changed. If the film can provide some opportunity for a larger conversation, that is extremely meaningful. Police criminality needs to be treated the same as any other form of criminality. At some point in time, we have to be the adults and fix it. Detroit. It's gonna be good. All right, thanks, man. Yeah. I need you here, man. I'm here. On and offset. The brotherhood was very, very strong. To see that magic on screen, it was powerful. Whoa, hey, y'all seen this? Hey, look, we're not too far from the Algiers. Let's just go there until all this blows over. Every one of us young guys on set vibe with each other. Nice does, man. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. From the beginning, we were in, in the room together. Like, we yeah. were just hanging out, having fun with, like, what we would do when we would get off set sometimes. <laughs> so it just felt like we were at home. And then things started getting real. Hey, y'all, there's a bunch of police outside right now. I was determined to cast the most extraordinary talents out there. I just feel lucky to be able to have worked with such an extremely talented cast. And watching some of the performance in there gave me goosebumps. Anybody in there? No, sir. To play a real person, someone who has a very distinct perspective on what happened that night, definitely comes with, with pressure. You're gonna kill us, man. Why? You gonna be crazy? Because of what these actual people had to go through. The only thing on my brain was just making sure I got it right. Where's the gun? I swear to God, I don't know, please. When she said cut, I just remember just crying, bawling my eyes out. All these actors possessed a kind of depth in their portrayal. I was really amazed by the performances that we have in this. Everybody wanted to bring their A-game. Experiencing in those moments, and we got to share energy and really build with each other. We can't do this to us. That'll be it next time. Es geht um den Vorfall im Hotel. Was war denn im Hotel? Erzähle ich Ihnen. Ich war beim Sicherheitsdienst in Wisconsin. Und am Dienstagabend hörten wir Schüsse aus der Richtung vom Algier. Die Polizei war da. Es gab eine Riesenschießerei. Als ich dann reinging, waren drei Jungs bereits tot. Nein. Sie waren also schon tot, als Sie antrafen. Ja, Sir. Sie tragen eine 38er. Richtig? Ein Revolver. Tragen Sie einen Revolver? Ich habe einen 38er. Schon mal jemand erschossen? Ich weiß nicht. Die Polizei... Ah. Geht das wieder los? Detroit ist praktisch im Kriegszustand und die Gewalt geht weiter. Polizei und Nationalgarde befinden sich in Bereitschaft. Ich verhänge den Ausnahmezustand. Da draußen herrscht Krieg. Die zerstören die Stadt. Polizei! Für mich seid ihr alle Verbrecher. Du wirst nicht darüber sprechen. Niemals und mit niemandem. Verstanden? Ich hab doch gesagt, wie es war. Ich will Ihnen nur helfen. Der Wandel! Es sind Juki! 
Mädchen? Was haben Sie denn getan? Der Wandel! Die legen uns um, Mann. Der Wandel! Nur eins zählt, überlebt diese Nacht. Überlebt diese Nacht, überlebt diese Nacht, überlebt diese Nacht. Melvin, willst du nach Hause? Ja. Was war also im Hotel? <lacht>